to you too what's up guys so welcome back to the channel and today video so today video will show you guys some top five overpower best class slot in modern Warfare 2 season three these guns right here you guys need to try it out for real though because these guns even though guns after update like before it was so good then after it got nerfed in season three but even though these guns it's still good, even though they got nerfed, they still good after update, man. For real though, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like some class ups, like you know, some best class up. You should try it out for real though, because these class up is still good of these guns, you know, overpowered guns like that. Even though on this list, on this top five list, I understand you guys gonna probably comment in below and say, bro, why this gun is not on the list? This gun on the list because I didn't really get a chance to use these guns for real though. Like, even though I know the the uh, what was it, the M13B got a buff. Uh, what else got a buff? Um, uh, you know, I know for a fact the M13B got a buff. It's some, it's some other guns. I know some guns got buff, nerf. Even though like the what was the the battle rifles and the LMGs, I think it was like what, I think it was one LMG got a buff and it, it was the Ray A. It was the uh, Ray AMG and then the RPK got nerfed. So yeah, that gun is just so good. But yeah, though. But I guess I just want to let you guys know. Even though I didn't use these guns, but some guns I did use it, even though it was like last season. But even though if it's last season, they still good though. Even though it's a new season, you know, they still good though. But, you know, but anyway, like I said, I'm sure you guys, these top five overpowered class that you should try it out today. But if you guys really want me to make another video of a top class up, I might do a 10 top class up on my channel. It might be maybe season three it depends on or maybe season three reloader but just stay tuned you know just stay tuned man but if you got a new to the channel drop a like and subscribe roll to see some subscribers on the channel upload every single day a month or two content of best class trick tips high kill gameplay if you guys like to see blueprint weapons in the battle pass in the store as well drop a like and subscribe and share the video but yeah guys i'm going to show you guys the best top five overpowered class in season three month for two and these class up you guys got tried out with these guns like i said even though they got nerfed I mean, they was good before in like season two and season two reloader, but after in season three, they got nerfed. They still good though, you know. But anyway, but further ado, let's get right to the video and show you guys the best top five overpowered class up in season three. This video start, I want you guys to do me a favor. Follow me on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Trying to get more followers on her, get more active on her. If you guys do that for me, man, I will follow it back for you guys like that and stuff. I'm trying to get more followers, man. If you guys give me like a hundred follows on twitter and i can say tiktok 100 followers and then we can we get a thousand followers on instagram you know if you guys do that for me they really mean a lot you know and i really appreciate for all the support like that for though but further ado let's get right to the video all right guys so today i'm gonna show you guys the number one best gun right here man we got the isom hemlock so if you guys didn't know this gun got nerfed in season three yes man so i'm gonna show you guys the passion us what they actually did to this gun or if you guys already know but the people who new to the channel didn't know this gun got nerfed. I'm gonna show you guys the patch notes anyway on the screen right now. So yeah, man, this gun got nerfed in season three, but the gun is still good though. But I'm gonna show you guys the class up. What the, uh, this class is actually good. I used before and it's so good though. But I'm gonna show you guys the class up. So on the barrel, we got the field folder or fielder t50 barrel this is actually a good barrel sometimes i don't use this barrel sometimes i use a different other barrel but other than that this is actually the best barrel but you got to tell on the pro got the damage range hit bullet velocity hit fire accuracy and got the recoil control but it kind of decreased of the end outside speed and hit recoil control and moving speed but at least you got recoil control that's all that matter it is good so try it out she got a tune on this one so the two notes we got the recoil steadiness of plus 0.35 then we got the anti outside speed of negative 0 0.18 and you got to write that the damage good range and go down to accuracy and yeah even though the recoil control is a little bit red but at least you got recoil control on the pro but a lot of people was talking about this gun um that's good they did not nerf the recoil control on this gun so that's everybody was really happy about it so that's good they did not touch the recoil control that's good though but at the same time the gun's still good though you know but yeah try it out it don't matter what type of barrel you use too underbear we got the x10 next up grip this is actually a good underbear we got to tell on the pro got the invisibility got the recoil stabilization kind of decrease of the end height speed but even though i mean you got to tell on the barrel i did tune it down so i was aiming quicker so yeah on the video i made a video with this gun and it's very very good the tune is on this one we got the recoil stabilization of plus 0 0.59 could it be 60 but we kept it like that then we got the aim walking speed of negative 0 0.35 it's all about mobility recoil and i can say accuracy so try it out 
But the rip grip got the second ZX grip. It's actually a good rip grip. You got to right there on the pro. Got the recoil control, kind of decrease of the invincibility, but it's actually good. All about recoil. You can use any type of other rip grips. You feel like it, but I use this. But sometimes don't use it. Sometimes I use a different one or wild it. You know, uh, tunes on this one. So we got the recoil steadiness of plus zero point uh 45 then we got the sprint to fire speed of negative 0 0.20 and it's all about recoils to try it out with the stock we got the ray 90 stock this is actually the best stock to myself i love using because like tell on the pro got the crouch move speed sprint speed and outside speed but it kind of decreased of the recoil control but even though it's other stocks like this was more better because i know for a fact this is actually the best stock this one is too then you got other stocks as well like this one this got no stock on her but it's crazy how this guy hit recoil control on her as well i remember i made a video with the vending 45 or a mini back or something they had Hit recoil control as well, but it, it, you really have to handle recoil on your own though, so it really don't matter unless you got a good muzzle. You know that's, that's all matter though for it though. But anyway, uh yeah, try that out, and I'm sure you guys to tune in on this one. So the tune on this, we got the eight dot size speed of negative three point twenty three. Then we got the aiming walking speed of negative two point seventeen, and it's all about handling and mobility. But yeah, but free free try this class. So let's go to the fire raid. Let you guys know this gun got nerfed, but at the same time, this gun is still good though. It's still good. That's why everybody called this gun a laser. I seen people still use this gun in Warzone and multiplayer as well, but it's still good for like, you know, close range, long range, mid range, you know. There you guys go, man. I'm gonna show you guys the second best class up right now. So today I'm gonna show you guys the best second class up. You guys should try it out. We got the base P. Had to put this on the second list because why not? If you guys didn't know, this gun got a buff in season three. So if you guys ever watched my video of this gun, I'm telling you guys, it got a buff. I'm gonna show you guys the patches on screen what they actually did the gun. If you guys didn't know it got a buff or not, and also if you guys want to see the patch notes, you can go to your uh options, go to settings, and go all the way down to patch notes and go to season three patch notes. You guys can see what well, all the you know what's the what's guns got buff and nerf like that and stuff. So if you guys know the tackle 56 got a nerf. Even though they forgot to change that, but they didn't. I, I don't know. They did change it, but they probably not gonna change it. But just just let you guys know, it got nerf, not buff, nerf. Anyway, let me check out the class setup of the base P. So on the barrel, we got the 12 burn SZ 36 barrel. It's actually a good barrel. And if you guys ever watched my video of this gun, like I said, it's very very good. You can tell on the pro got the velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hit fire accuracy. But it kind of decreased of the anti sight speed, moving speed, and hit recoil control. And it's very, very good. It's actually a good barrel. You guys should try it out. I'm sure you guys tune on this one. So the two nuts, we got the recoil steadiness of plus 0 0.26. Then we got the damage range of plus 0 0.31. It's all about damage, range, accuracy, and a little bit recoil control. Or I could say recoil, but it's actually good to try it out. With the laser, we got the ACCU Shot 5 MW laser. This is actually a good laser. And you guys should try to get to right there on the pro got the anti sight speed and visibility, but it kind of de decreased of the comp of the laser valid in ADS. But at least you got anti sight speed, it's all matter though. But sure, got a tune on this one. So, the tune on this one, we got the sprint to fire speed of negative 0 0.31. Then we got the anti sight speed of negative 29.61. It could have been 30, but we kept it like that. And you got to right there, the handling a lot handling, and then we got accuracy a little bit. I could have bumped up at, uh, aim eligibility, but I just, just want to aim quicker, you know. But yeah, try it out. With the underbear, we got the phase three grid. It's actually a good underbear. You can tell on the pro got the aim eligibility. Got the hit fire accuracy. They got the recoil stabilization kind of decrease of the walking speed and down tight speed, but it's all about accuracy and I could say recoil control or I could say recoil. And she got two notes on this one. So the two note we got the recoil stabilization of plus 0 0.49. Then we got the aim walking speed of negative 0 0.32. It is all about the accuracy, but that's good. I got the aim walking speed good because I can aim and walking. I don't really need a lot of invisibility because look at the bar. Yeah. Uh, rip grip, we got the D37 grip. This is actually good rip grip. That I can tell right there on the pro. Got the recoil control. Kind of decrease of the invisibility, or I can say invisibility, but it's all about recoil. Got to tell right there. We got the recoil steadiness of plus 0 0.87. Then we got the aim down, I mean, you know, my bad, right there. Uh, aim eligibility of plus 0 0.35. It's all about recoil, so try it out. Then with the stock, we got the Burn Fast V4 stock. It's actually a good stock. I love this stock a lot because you can get right there on the pro. Got the sprint speed, so you can sprint to A to B flat or to hard point, wherever you play objective where you're playing on. This actually help a lot. You got the aim walking speed, that's help a lot. Got crouch move speed, so if you drop shot and get back up, it's help a lot. 
Then you got the anti-sight speed go and quicker as well, it help a lot as well. But it kind of decreased of the invincibility and the recoil control. But like I said, you got the uh, barrel, you got the under barrel, and you got the rear grip will help out a lot for real though. Even though the recoil control is chalk, but it's actually good. But free free try this class, so you got to tell right there the bar is straight up insane though. This class is actually good. Now I'm gonna let you guys know, even though on the video I did make a video with this gun, explain to you guys this does help out long range. But if you get lucky to handle the recoil of this, you know, like, like I just did right there, even though my aim was off, but I still hit the target. If you get your shot on point or handle the recoil, then you're good though. But this actually help out, you know, mid range and I could say close range, you know. But long range, if you get lucky, then you're good though. But anyway, try it out. I'm gonna show you guys the top three class to look right now. So here go the other best top three class to look. We got the Tackle 56. So if you guys ain't know, this gun got a nerf. Yes, they did some to the headshots damage of this gun so i'm sure you got the patch notes so if you guys didn't know if you guys ever like see on twitter to follow the developers like you know infinity warfare you know or uh action figure like the all them developers but if you guys didn't know this gun a lot of people was kind of getting refused or i could say kind of like i could say nervous or something like that or was kind of pissed off the tackle efficiency they thought they got a buff unfortunately if infinity warfare kind of mistake that and they they say it was decreased so it got a nerf of the headshot but at the same time even though i was seeing a lot of people even though to myself i used this gun and i was getting headshot kills easy though don't matter what even though they nerfed the gun it's still good though you know just like the rpk the rpk got nerfed it's still good though but i'm sure you guys the class though so on the barrel we got the 17.5 uh tundra pro barrel this is actually the best barrel hands down might as well say it because it is it's very very is but sometimes some people don't use the barrel sometimes like, some people like to use different other you know attachments on the gun sometimes people use the barrel sometimes people don't use the barrel they use a muzzle you know that's what i do or i see other youtubers do that but you got to on the pro got the damage range hit fire accuracy then velocity but it kind of decreased a eight down sight speed and hit recoil control but other than that you gotta handle recoil on your own, but you does you does have other attachments help out with that recoil, even though you don't have a recoil control of the pro. So try it out. With the tunings on this, we got the recoil uh steadiness of plus zero point. I think it was a uh, 31. Because I just saw the tuning moving. If you guys know the tuning still messed up. Then with the anti sight speed of negative 0 0.27. It's all about damage, range, accuracy, ain't no recoil control. So yeah, try it out. With the muzzle, we got the RF Crown 50 muzzle. This is actually a good muzzle, and it's so good. You guys can try it out. You guys can turn it down the pro. Got the horizontal recoil control, very cool control, but it kind of decreased the anti sight speed and invincibility. But yeah, try it out. She got a tune on this one. So the tune up, we got the anti sight speed of negative 0 0.72. Then you got the gun control of plus 0 0.25, and it's all about recoil. So try it out. With the under barrel, we got the FSS uh, Shark Fit 90. Under barrel, this is actually good. I can tell right there on the pro got the MS ability, but it kind of decreased. Of well, ain't nothing on the comm, so I don't know why did I said that, but yeah, this is what everybody used the pro players, everybody used this in rank because ain't nothing on the con. It's crazy though. So, you got a tune on this one. So, the tune up, we got the recoil stabilization of plus 0 0.49. Then, we got the aim walking speed of negative 0 0.27. And yeah, it gets it right there. Mobility is actually good. It's crazy. That a little bit of accuracy and a little bit of mobility. So, yeah, so it gets it right there. It's very, very good. Ain't nothing. It's crazy. That ain't nothing on the accuracy. So, yeah, but yeah, anyway, try it out. With the rib grip, we got the FSS combat grid. It's actually a good rib grip. I can tell right there on the pro. Got the recoil control. Kind of decreased the like, aim but it's all about recoil. Got right there. Got the recoil steadiness. Uh, plus 0 0.74 then we got the invincibility of plus 0 0.33 all about recoil so try it out then we got the stock we got the tv uh cornell stock cornell stock yeah i was saying all right uh on the pro got the emmet walking speed sprint speed this is actually a good you know stock you gotta get to right there uh you can aim walking and you can sprint speed to b flag a flag wherever like that wherever you where you play on objectives or maps like that but it kind of decreases of invincibility and we should got a tune on this one so tune on this we got the anti sight speed of negative 2.58 then we got the aim walk I me mean, aim walking speed of negative 1.47 it's all about handling and mobility but even though handling is chalk but this is actually the best class of but like i said the tackle v got i mean tackle 56 got nerfed but it's actually good you guys gotta try it out everybody use this gun in this class setup you guys should try it out man actually and quicker as well so look at this and this actually help a lot it's a assault rifle so it's actually help out close range long range and like i say 
you know, mid range as well. So try it out, man. I'm sure you guys the fourth class up right now. I'm show you guys the top four class up, man. We got that Valley 46, man. So if you guys know from before, this gun was like insane, man. Yes, it was insane. I remember they buffed this gun like what season one, season one reloader. If I'm right or wrong, season two. And uh yeah, and season three. So if you guys know this gun, I a nurse. I'm gonna show you guys the patches on screen, or you guys can check it. Like I said before, I'll show you guys go to the option, and then just go to settings and go down to patch notes. What they actually did to the, you know, Valley 46. But even though a lot of people were saying, don't worry about it, it's still good though. You are gonna get crazy headshots no matter what though, for it though. But I'm gonna show you guys class to So on the barrel, we got the Slogger RB barrel. I mean B barrel. My bad, right there. Uh, this is actually a good. Barrel, you guys should try to get the on the pro. Got the bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, hit fire accuracy, but it kind of decreased of the anti attack speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. But it's good, you got recoil control on the pro. That's all matter though. So let me show you guys tune on this one. So the tune on this one, we got the recoil standards of plus 0 0.31. Then we got the anti attack speed of negative 0 0.26. And it's all about damage range, accuracy, and recoil control. So yeah, try it out. On the barrel, we got the FSS Shark Thin 90. Barrel, I mean under barrel. I can just say that old barrel. It wouldn't matter though. But you got to right there on the pro, got the invincibility, but ain't nothing on the comms. So if you guys ever saw the tackle, you know, tackle 56 video, yeah. This is pro players use this, man. It's just so good. Ain't nothing on the comms. That's why it's so good. So try it out. I'm sure you got to tune on this one. So tune up, we got the recoil stabilization of plus 0 0.44. Then we got the aim walking speed of negative 0 0.32. And you can see right there, it's all about accuracy and mobility. But even though the mobility is just. I think it's a little bit green though, you know. But yeah, try it out. Magazine, we got the 50 Rand magazine. So yeah, this 50 Rand magazine is very, very good. But I know for a fact, I mean, you can use the 50 rounds or the 60 rounds, or I can see the 30 rounds. So if you guys didn't know, they did some changes, like some uh some stuff of the I can say to the magazine of the you know the Valley 46 or I can say MP7 with the 50 round with the 60 round. So if you have, if you guys ever watch my video about this gun, I made a video with this gun. I thought they did some to the 30 round, but they actually did some to the 50 round and the 60 round. So yeah, though these two right here, but it don't matter what's one you use though, or you could just use a normal with the 40 rounds to the gun to itself. 40 rounds actually ain't that bad though, for it. Though. But I seen a lot of people use the 30 round because it reload quick. And it's very, very good though. You know, you can sprint speed and real quickness, and you can end outside speed quick as well. Ain't quicker like that, and moving speed as well. So, yeah, try them out, and this as well is good too. Rip grip, we got the ZLR combat grip. It's actually good. You got to turn it down on the pro. Got the recoil control, kind of decrease of the invincibility on the comm. But she got to tune on this. So, to tune on this, we got the recoil steadiness of plus 0 0.55. Then we got the invincibility of plus 0 0.30. It's all about recoil to try it out. Then with the stock, we got the D-Mon RXT stock. It's actually a good stock. I can tell right there on the pro. Got the crouch move speed, sprint speed, and dot side speed. But it kind of decreased all the recoil control. But it's all good on the pro because you crouch down faster. You can sprint speed, like run A to B flag, wherever or hard point you, wherever object you play on. Then you got eight dot side speed, so you can aim quicker. So yeah, try it out. Then we should got a two notes. So the two notes, we got the eight dot side speed of negative 1.81. Then you got the aim walking speed of negative 1.55. It's all about mobility and handling. But even though the handling is chopped, but this is actually a good class look. You guys got to try it out. But it's crazy how they nerfed the headshot damage of this gun. But other than that, a lot of people were saying, don't worry about it. It's still good, though. But I'm going to go to the fire rate to show you guys this class. So this class look actually nice. And you guys got to try it out, man. It's so good. It's actually help out long range. I'm not going to say close range and mid range. But even though my aim was over right there. But let me try one more time. Alright, there you go. Yeah, it's actually good for close range, long range, and mid range. It don't matter though. It's still good though, man. But I'm gonna show you guys the number one top five class setup right now. I'm gonna show you guys the top five class setup right here. We got the STB556. This class setup I use this in season two reloader and shipment, and it's very, very good. I mean, you don't have to use this class setup, but it's actually a laser, man. It help a lot. And if you guys ever watched my STB556 video, it got like a thousand views and it just went crazy with this class, but it's actually helped a lot. But I'm gonna show you guys the class that are right now. So on the muzzle, we got the FJX Film Chrome Pro. This is actually a good muzzle. You got the right there on the Pro, got that very cool recoil control, got the hair rails on the recoil control, but it kind of decreased the anti sight speed and visibility, but it's all about recoil. So I'm gonna show you guys tune on this one. So on the tune up, we got the anti sight speed of negative 0.57. Then we got the gun kick control of plus 0 0.28. It's all about recoil, so try it out. And the tune is messed up. Great. At least I'll show you guys too. No, that's good. Uh, under bear, we got the Asian grid. It's actually a good 
on the barrier that's right there on the pro got the invincibility got the hit fire accuracy then we got the calm decrease of the walking speed but this good for accuracy and hit fire but i think i didn't really hit fire nobody of that gameplay when i use this gun with this attachment on this gun but it's still good though she got two notes so two notes we got the recoil stabilization of plus 0 0.36 then you got the uh, walking speed of negative 0 0.35 and then yeah i don't need a little lot of accuracy yeah so try it out but yeah tony's still messing up man i apologize ammo type all i can say ammo we got the 5.56 high vaseline this is actually good but even though they did some to this so i mean it's still good though it's still good though i mean at least you got range it's good though so but even though bullet box is chalk that's the damage but it's still good though i mean i take that back not damage but the damage range is chalk but the bullet velocity is the range so that's good though we'll show you guys two minutes so two minutes next we got the recoil the, the toonies is still messed up in this game but just try it out man just try it out you guys can do your own toonies though but i, I try my best the toonies still messing up with the uh comp we got the burn t s 30 comp this is actually a good you know, calm. You got to turn right there on the pro. Got the invincibility, recoil, uh, steadiness of, and then got the crouch. I mean, calm. My bad. A decrease of the move speed and outside speed. But it's actually good. But invincibility and recoil. So I'm sure you got tune on this one. So the tune on this one, we got the walking speed. Like, look, I'm not doing nothing. The tune is still messing up. Like, even though I push it up, look, look at this. I'm pushing up. It's gonna go back down. Opti, we got the current mid pro. Um, yeah, this is the best opti you guys should try out, just like the slim pro. These are the two best opti. I don't know about this one, I might try this out, but it depends on. But this, these two, this is the best one. Let me show you guys two notes on this one. So, two notes on this, we got the aim dot size speed of negative 3.00. Then we got the fodder negative 2.25. If you guys ever watch my videos on opti's, like on different guns, I always have like this because they actually help a lot. Sometimes I don't use the fodder all the way max out. I sometimes I tune it down a little bit or I've made it close, you know, but it depends on. But free free try this class up. This is actually the best top five class up right here. You guys should try it out. And this is actually the laser STD556 class up. You guys should try it out. And it's just so good. Like, look at that right there, man. But leave a comment below if you guys love these class of the videos if you guys want to see more i might do a top 10 class of the overpowered class of the in season three reloader or maybe season three it depends on because i know you guys really want to like to see a you know vast nines or m13b m4 etc etc like that i got you guys but like i said if you guys want a top 10 class so leave a comment below i would do that and drop a like and subscribe i would do that for you guys man but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed it read a lot i apologize to toonies see you guys next time